Welcome back to the channel everybody. Welcome back to the vlog. If you happen to be stopping in for the very first time, my name is Chuck. I am an LTL driver for a company called Essence Express. As you can see, we're well represented here at the hotel. We got, I don't know, probably 10 trucks here. Nothing like Dallas or some of those places where we go and there's like 30 SS trucks, but you can tell this is a popular hotel with the drivers. Uh, again, it's just up the street. Alright guys, uh, it's the next, well, it's this evening, I guess I should say, if you watched the last video. I checked in here to this La Quinta Inn, and I'm actually going to be coming back here in the morning. Uh, I found out, uh, I checked my dashboard to see if I was planned on anything, and I'm planned to go to, uh, I'm covering a run for the Indianapolis Terminal going to um, Grand Rapids, Michigan. So roughly, I'm going to be taking Interstate, I think it's 49 up there. Um, there's some other little back ways that you can save about 20 miles, but I'm not familiar with the area, so I'm going to stay off the U.S. highways as much as I can. Uh, but it's about 300 miles up there, 300 miles back, so it's going to be another good night. So I'm uh, coming off break here shortly. So what I'm doing now is uh, going to status, uh, off-duty PC. I'm going to put on here food, then terminal. Because my break is not quite up, it's almost up. And what this allows me to do legally is to, uh, I'm going to remove all these. Remove your shipments, remove your trailers that I had in here, which I could have done this morning, which I probably should have. Um, and that allows me to legally drive this truck. Um, I'm going to go over here to this White Castle across the street. I'm going to check that out. Let me know down in the comments. Are you a White Castle fan? I'm about to find out if I am or not. Uh, I contain no shipment. Yes. Okay. Um... And then my clock comes back here in about 30 minutes, so I'll be back to normal. That cut time for this run is at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. I'm having to try to remind myself where I'm at. Uh, but I have to be there at 7.30 Eastern Time uh, for, the, for the cut time. But the trailers, I don't know if they're closed or not. I got one of them that's 22,000 pounds and one that's 10,000 pounds. I don't know if it's there. The, one of them's closed, but I don't know about the other one, so I'll figure that out when we get there. But I wanted to kind of give you guys a heads up. Um, what's going on? Alright guys, we're going to try one of these. White Castle. I got uh, a double cheeseburger. What they consider a double cheeseburger. So my, my friends down here in the south, this is a double cheeseburger. <laughs> White thing's hot. They love our onions. All right, we're going to give it a, I'm probably going to take a bite of this and I'm going to go over the terminal and probably eat the rest of it as I sit over there and wait, because this is kind of hot, so. Got pickles on it, cheese, onions. Wow. That is hot. I wouldn't say it. It doesn't taste greasy. I mean, it's kind of soft. I don't know. I think it's more the juice from the meat, but... Don't get me wrong, if you're from this side of the country, it's not bad. It's no water burger, I can tell you that. Uh, it's no in and out. Yeah, I'm not a real big a fan, fan of the five guys, just because you need an angioplasty after you have one of them hamburgers, but it's not bad. I think this is going to be more for if you're like a, uh, a chicken wing person, a hot wing, you like finger food type stuff, I think this is perfect to sit down and you had you know three of these little guys to sit down with a cold beverage or a iced tea or something like that and maybe watch a sporting event or you know something but yeah it's definitely kind of like a finger food um, so yeah that's uh that's my take on the white castle okay guys i'm headed over the terminal 
Alright, well I'm just hanging out here on the yard. I uh, went in and talked to dispatch. They told me that uh, they would hook the set and everything for me. So we're, I'm loving this. St. Louis, Indianapolis. <laughs> now, I know where I'm going in um, Michigan, uh, Grand Rapids. I'm, it's a smaller terminal, so I'll be, at least I'll be breaking and probably hooking a set there. Uh, this right over here is my lead trailer, 284409, so I figure this is a good place to stage. When I see them come over and grab that, then I'll know that they're hooking the set. Uh, she said that it would hook the set and put it down here. My rear trailer, they're still loading. Um, really nice terminal. They, uh, If you'll notice, all the trucks are nice and clean. They have a little wash bay. I believe I've seen a guy come around from over there. The truck was all wet, so I'm assuming so. They've got these... Uh, it's like this is parking spot 37. All of them have numbers all the way down. And if you'll notice, they're all parked nose in. Uh, for, you know, I'm sure that's a reason why, but everything here is really not very nice and uniform. The terminal, the uh, dock is, they, you can tell they, these terminals that you come to that are like this, man, the, the management here has to be really, really good. Because uh, this takes a lot. Not only that, management has to be good. But you have to have really, really good uh, team members that really enjoy their job and want things to look really nice. Um, you know, I've been to some terminals. You can, you know, terminal manager may not be the best, but yet the people are, are really, really good. So, yeah, this is the Indianapolis terminal. We're headed to Grand Rapids. Again, it's about 300 miles away, roughly. So I'll be up there and then back here, stay in the same hotel, and then get up and we'll figure out what we're doing but i figure i'd bring you along with me tonight at least you can see what grand rapids is like yeah it's going to be dark but um yeah <laughs> i'll see you guys here sitting here watching this guy right here hook these sets with these yard jockey or with the uh, i call them yard jockeys some people yard hostlers yard dogs whatever you want to call them i tell you this guy right here is pretty impressive and i guess you know you hook as many sets as these guys do I've, he'll take a lead trailer over there he goes over where the dollies are he'll hook a dolly to this lead trailer and he'll come back and he'll find the trailer man he just whips that sucker in there like it i mean he backs the the trailer and the dolly like it's like it's like the dolly's not even there you know having those type of trucks that turn on a dime i mean do help quite a bit but still kudos to the kudos to the yard hostlers out here making it easy for the drivers we appreciate you guys here he comes let's see how well he does i mean got the sun in his face i think he saved it uh almost and most of them he sticks on the very first shot. And it's it's one of those things, guys, no matter how much you do it, it's still <laughs> He's making he's making me feel a little better because you know I I feel like I do good if I get you know three or four pull ups. There you got it. All right, uh, he's just come over here and grabbed our lead trailer, so that tells me we're about done. We're about ready. So I'm gonna come off break doing pre trip. You're ready to hook and we're going to be ready to book. I was looking at a couple of different ways to get there. Highway 31 or some type of state highway 31 doesn't look too bad. I was going to take 69 up to Kalamazoo and go up that way. But I think I'm going to go through South Bend. Highway 31. Be cruising up uh, over here by Lake Michigan. So I think we're going to go that route. It's 273 miles going that way or 301 going this way. So I think I'm going to go this way. It looks like it's going to be all right. Hey, I'm an extra board driver. I want to get back as soon as I can, but at the same time, 
you know, we'll, uh, we'll go that route. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> I may regret it, but I think it's going to, I was looking at the roads. I think we're going to be all right. lights. Got to turn that knob right there, which turns that off, builds air into the brakes. Good there. need that dolly number there for when I uh, do self-dispatch. Looks like we're ready to go guys. Picked up a little screw but it's a little bitty one. Alright, I'm gonna get everything plugged in. And then we're on our way to Grand Rapids. I was talking to a driver there and he said, nah, take the interstate, don't take the 131. <laughs> he goes, it's just uh, too many lights and stuff you gotta stop at. We're about 71 miles into our trip so far. We still got uh, 229 miles left. Out here on Highway 69, I-69. Our next major city is Fort Wayne, Indiana. Beautiful sunset happening over on the left. You know, I don't get to see this kind of scenery very often because it's always pitch black when I'm driving. So I figured I'd shoot a little bit. But a lot of cornfields out here. Farmers. Thank you, farmers. Not a lot of traffic out here. I was kind of surprised. Comes another Estes driver. Probably headed to Indy. Single axle, so he bid run, most likely. This is one of the, the good things about being on the export. You do get to see different things. You know, 
one week you may be in Texas and Alabama and Louisiana, the next week you could be in Indiana and Michigan and Illinois. And <laughs> so, you know, but you get to come out here and drive for five days and then go home. You're only away from home for four days, well, basically four nights. But when I get to this terminal, it's a fairly decent sized terminal from what I can see on Google Maps. Uh, I'm going to get in here. Both of these trailers are their trailers, so I'll break them. If there's some empty doors, I'll put them in there where it looks like pups are together. If not, I'll still break it, put them away, and they can grab them in the morning. And then i got to call Central and find out what they want me to bring back because most likely this is going to be a dark terminal by the time I get here because I'm going to get there around 12, eh, probably 1230 in the morning and there may not be anybody there uh, as far as dispatcher wise alright we're a little less than a mile from the terminal should be up here on the right in three quarters of a mile arrive at Grand Rapids GDR 68 on the right on the right there you go Nagatha I think you got this one right. There's been a few times she hasn't, like down in West West Houston. <laughs> She's trying to send me off somewhere crazy. And the thing is, sometimes we can look at these photos and stuff from Google Maps. But some of these uh, terminals change over time as far as where they put stuff. Grand Rapids GDR 68 on the right. Sweet. Gates open. Almost all of our terminals you go, you do everything counterclockwise. Pups right there. I bet that's their empty pups back over there. Just in case I need to take one in an empty, I bet that's where they're at. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these two pups right over there. And then I'm going to call Central. See what we taking out of here. Alright, we're planned. My lead trailer. 299, 396. Should be down here. In, in the dock still. Yep, right there. My rear trailer's over there. I've already put my dolly in front of it. Uh, this is why you gotta keep a hammer with you. You never know when stuff's going to get jammed. Okay. <laughs> I guess it didn't want to get hammered on, so it was like, you better fall. We don't want the hammer. I do have a work light. Matter of fact, I'll turn it on.
locked in. Man, for being an LED light, that little handheld battery, a little handheld uh, light that I have, gets hot quick. I thought about taking this trailer over here and moving it over here in the middle, make it a little easier, but. Because it's like right here on the, whoever parked it, parked it like right on the edge. I've got it set up so I can just hook it. Just hook it from this. It's stuck in something there. Fingers out of the way. Them fingers out of the way. I got that all. Get that hanging down. All right. Nice lit up yard. That's nice. Okay. Are you needing charging? <laughs> I'm going to pull it over here. I got to go inside and get the paperwork. And then I'll do a pre trip on everything. And then we will track the. 300 miles back and once we came well we got all the paperwork we got the pre-trip we've got everything done uh, shout out to Grand Rapids I walked in they've got a place where you put the bills and they have the bills that are headed out uh, kind of categorized there for you you know I tell you as I'm getting out here and seeing more of these terminals you know I've kind of created a top five list 
and the number one that I had has been dethroned. Nashville, Tennessee was my number one terminal, uh, but that's been dethroned by Indy. Indianapolis, not Indy West, I haven't been there yet, but Indianapolis. Uh, and I, the way I look at it is, is whether it's a big terminal or a little terminal, how well it's laid out, how well it's organized, uh, how friendly the people are, dispatchers, people in, you know that you deal with. Uh, but my new number one is Indy, two is Nashville, three is Kansas City, four is Oklahoma City, and a really close number five, could be number four, is Houston. Uh, I haven't been to the new San Antonio yet, uh, but uh, yeah, really, really good terminals up here. It's just really cool to be able to see how large this company is and why I enjoy working here. Um, you know, I think Estes is, you know, I've said in the past, they're really close to being, I mean, really, really top-notch to work for. they got great pay, great benefits. I think as they're upping their game with their equipment, their trucks, I think that's, to me, the only thing as an extra board driver that's lacking a little bit is is the truck situation. Um, but they're getting there. <laughs> But uh, if you're looking to, you know, come work for a company, I would highly recommend Estes, whether you want to do P&D and stay local or come out here and do what I do, have some fun, see in the country, um, and, uh, you know, help them move America. But guys, we're on our way back. Break's about to end, and uh, I'll see you guys in Indy. Well, guys, we've made it back to the terminal, back to Indy. Turn left. 6.05 a.m., You know, that's not a bad little run. I don't know if that's a run I'd want to do in the wintertime. Because <laughs> I bet they get some uh, they get some weather up there. At the end of the street, turn left. Oh, uh, we're done. We're done. So, we did 603 miles so far for two days. 1,268 miles. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. So I'm going to drop this set, take my paperwork in there, and I'm headed to the hotel. Actually, I'll probably go over here and get some fuel and DEF. I like to try to fill my truck up uh, when I go to break so that when I come off break, I'm ready to, I'm ready to rock and roll. Uh, is, this, uh, is, this, is this how we do it here? I guess so. Alright guys, uh, I think that's going to do it for this vlog. I want to thank each and every one of you guys for stopping by the channel, spending a few moments with me today. Look at that, they turned a trailer into dock doors. <laughs> that's pretty interesting. But guys, until I see you at the next one, I hope each and every one of you have a blessed rest of your day. And remember this, life is truly short. Make sure you make it sweet. Peace.